Hello and welcome to the Open Solar video on the CRM. This video will go through each of the features of the CRM and how you can best use them to manage your business and make the most of these features in Open Solar. So we're starting out this video in the Projects zone, which is in the bottom toolbar on the left hand side. And we're starting in one of the project pages for one of the addresses that we have. The first thing that we're going to cover on this project page is in the top right hand corner, which is the workflow functionality in OpenSolar. You can see here a list of your customizable actions, so you can change these to do whatever you like them to say, and they can be ticked, which will then get timestamped when then it was completed, as well as each of the different stages, which can be updated. Moving a project into the sell stage will also have the added functionality of locking the pricing. This will all be logged in the project history section, which logs all of the changes which are made, including when the email is sent out to the customer. You can also add in customizable tags and other details to the sales and service section. So if we go to tags here, these can fully be fully customized and created in the control zone. And there's a section at the bottom on the left on the control zone to customize both the tags and also the actions as well. If we either click on the projects icon again or click on this list button at the top, we'll be taken back to a list of our projects. And from here, we can actually filter to find the exact uh, projects that we're after, which could be at a certain point in the workflow. So you can see there's a number of different ways you can filter, and one of them would be to filter on the stage, so you want to find all the projects that are up to the selling stage, and also all of the projects which have, which have a certain action incomplete. So for example, all the projects where you still need to contact the customer. This will give you a list of each of these projects and you'll be able to quickly follow up on them. You can also one-touch call, email and text straight through the app if you have it on your phone or tablet and you've entered in the customer's details. If we click back onto the project, we can also go to this planned activity section where we can actually schedule in activities which will feed into the open solar calendar. We can create an activity by clicking here and then we can set the activity type here. For example, say we want to call the customer, or we do an installation, or some maintenance. But for calling the customer, we can choose this activity type, enter in a description in the notes section, and also assign it to a particular team member who will actually be notified by email that they received this activity. We can also set a time and a duration. We can even assign a customer. When you're finished, hit the save button. And then this will show up in the planned activity and if you've tracked it as a task, it will be said that it's incomplete. The person who's assigned, who it is assigned to can update this to say it's complete. It will then move into the project history section once they've done this. And you can keep a log of all the things that happen in the project history section. For example, when you send the email out, when the customer views it, as well as when they accept it. And we can actually view all of these activities on the calendar. If we come up to the top left in the projects list and click on the calendar here, we can then see a calendar which opens up. We can see the events that we've created in the projects and we can also create our own events by clicking and dragging to set the duration. We can assign it to a project, choose the activity type similar to how we did before. We can view this on a monthly, a weekly, a daily basis or actually view it all as an agenda which will summarize the date, time and event and who it's assigned to as well. 
we click on the projects icon again, we can get back to a list of our projects. And if we click on the project itself, we'll be taken back to the project page here. Next, if we come down to the very bottom of the page, we can see there's a file section here, which can be very handy when keeping track of all of the customer's details. Each of the projects will have its own file section, and you can upload files here by clicking on this upload button. And you can actually upload any photos taken on site, their bills, or any other important info that you want to keep and manage. Once a task has been completed, the assigned member can mark it as complete which will then move it over into the project history section. And you can check it off here in the actions if you have a corresponding action. You can also assign team members to each project. And once you assign a team member to the project, they will again be notified via email. By default, the person who creates the project will be assigned to it. You can also set up a way to restrict the view of projects to certain users. If the user is a non-admin, which is set up when you set up their team, you can go to settings and then project access control and set the project access control to restricted. This means that non-admins in OpenSolar can only see the projects that they are assigned to. An admin will be able to see all of the projects. And this can also be set on a project-by-project project basis as well. Thank you very much for watching.